Hey everybody, this is Steve. Today we're going to go over the PCV1630 controller, the Facility Explorer um, VAV controller. And today we're going to do uh, something a little different. I'm going to have my webcam going so we can see what's going on in the controller and everything like that. Let me get it turned on for you. And then we're just going to go through the steps. So let's build a quick program here. I already got CCT open. I'm already running uh, version 10.2, firmware 6.2. So we're going to do a new program. We'll name this one VAV. We're going to choose VAV, single duct. OK. We'll go um, actuator. We'll do a fan. We'll do a series fan. That's fine. Um, let's do a fan status. Let's do some electric heat. Uh, three stages. That way we fill up all our inputs and outputs. Okay. Wire discharger temperature. Point adjust, fine. All right. Next, finish. All right, here's our program. Move this out of the way. We're going to go define hardware. Point assignments. There's all our points. Okay. Um, see, I hate the way it does this. Look at that. Heating three on one, heating one on two, heating two on three. I mean, who wants to wire that one up, right? Let's do fan command on one, heating one on two, heating two on three. And then we'll do heating three on output four. Okay. We're going to close that. And you know what? Just for giggles here, output five, we're going to add something in here. New output. We're going to do, uh, let's do a fan speed. Uh, Supply fan. Oh, little DC output. Boom, supply fan output. Let's add that over there. And then what we'll do is we'll define hardware, put that guy in. And he's going to go over here to five. Okay, now we're all filled up. Network settings, device address four, sure. We'll leave that all good. Okay, close. All right, so now we're good to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this. We are not on address 4. I don't know if anyone knows about binary uh, addressing, but these controllers have a binary address, right? So we'll put them all down. Okay, so now that's address 0. This first one over here is 1. This is 2. This one is four. We're going to have to flip that one up. This next guy is eight. That's 16. That's 32, 64, 128. Okay. So you would add these up to get your, your address. So if we want an address five, we'd flip up one and four. That makes five. We're going to do address four for this guy. So we're going to leave that guy down. Now, whenever you change the address, you're going to have to cycle power. Pull the power plug, put the power plug back in. It's going to do its thing. We're going to connect our map gateway to the FC bus. Okay, that easy. Now we got our map gateway going. Here's what my map gateway looks like. Yours might be in a protective case. I traded to my protective case. Got a good deal for it. So, all right, so we're addressed for, 
we got to wait for our map to connect. We'll put our video back down here. I'm going to use this to connect to my map gateway right there. All right, we're connected to our map gateway. We can tell this by this uh, signal strength indicator right here. It tells us that we're connected. So now we can go over here and hit transfer to device. And we can transfer using our map gateway. to the device. Hit finish. It's got a commission after it's done, which is fine. Now, while that's doing that, let's go back to our controller here and let's talk about some things, okay? These binary outputs right here are triacs, okay? They were device powered triacs, meaning I get set up here. That this output right here always has 24 volt power to it. That's going to be AC power. See, 26 volts on my meter over here. This one, 26 volts. This one, 26 volts. Okay? So when you're hooking this up, you're always going to have 26 volts out on output 1, output 2, and output 3. And that's if it's commanded on or not. You see, heating two, heating one right over here is commanded off. That is going to be this guy. But if my hand's in the way, let's see. Still getting 26 volts over here, 25 volts. Okay. But going from the output to the output common, I'll move my hand. We don't have anything. 3.15 volts, that's nothing. So, let's see how we can do this. I've got to minimize this guy. Come over here, I'm going to start my outputs. And let's turn on the fan. Command on send boom so now on output one between output one output common we have 25 volts let me show you this here see 26 volts Now, you have to be careful and have make sure you're hooked up to a relay or something because Triax like to trick you. Command off. So we're off on that one now. And then watch what happens. 
Well, at first, my meter said 25 volts, but my meter had enough oomph to take that 25 volts away. Still got 25 there. Some don't. You always pretty much have to have anything that you hook up here going out to a rib relay or some kind of contactor. That way, it'll close the contact, but it has enough resistance in there to open it back up. If you hook this up to like a VFD, um, on off command, it's going to close, it's going to run, but it's, it won't turn off. Whenever you command this guy on off, it's not enough to open it back up. Now here, your configurable, those you're going to have to jump power to. Okay? If Because these are just going to be closed contacts. There's no power coming out on here at least on four where we have the third stage of heating show you what that does so come over here stage three heating command on okay So that's over here, this guy and this guy. As you see, we have no power, nothing. But we will see that we got a close contact. Okay, there I put the. Okay, um, now let's check our output here or zero to 10 volt output we're going to do an operator override to 50 percent and we should get five volts once you see this hardware then we'll do this we're going to check this two volts dc and leads where you can see it 5 volts DC. So they will output up to 10 volts DC, but that's all these guys will do. If you need 24 volts, you're going to have to do a, um, a dry contact over here and jump 24 volts either from one of these hots or from one of these outputs that has 24 volts on it all the time. So we can release this guy. So another thing, your inputs are at the bottom here. Now the first two are, it's 15 volts DC that the, the device gives you to maybe do a, a 4 to 20 milliamp on, on a device. You can use this 15 volts DC in common there. Here's your input one, input one common, input two, input two common, input three, input three common, right? Your FC bus, that's your trunk. This is what you hook up going to the other controllers and to the Jace. Um, if you're just doing the controllers to the Jace, you only need these positive and negative, right? If you're going from controller to controller, Johnson controller, try to use this common. Um, Johnson uses a three wire back net trunk. And then you got your end of line switch. So if you're in the line, you can split that up. And you'll see we get an indicator light here when this is the end of line. That down. And then this is the SA bus. So this is going out to a stat. Or going out to an IOM device. It's what you would use here. You also could use the plug-in model for the stat. 
Okay. And that's basically how the PCV controller works and more about the PCV controller. What gets most people are the hooking up the binaries outputs up here. They don't realize that these are hot all the time. And what they're actually hooking up is a common. All right. I hope you all like the video. Please like and subscribe and share to people that you think that this video would help.